Welcome to the world of books and music and theatre. This is Tom McHugh speaking. Um, sorry about the general tickets. <laughs> um, it's been a while. I'm not going to lie. It's been a while since I've been doing a review album and all sorts. I have been ridiculously been busy. I handed my dissertation in. Um, I got an interview on Wednesday. Um, so all of it is gone really, really well. However, as I've been really busy, I have listened to two artists. One is, for this video right now, is a full artist review, which will be a little bit longer. And I have got a next video from a friend of mine who is a singer, and he produced an album, uh, an EP. So we'll review our, so his EP will be our very first EP. So, without further ado, um, let's get on with the album artist. I have created my own Twitter account. I announced it on Twitter a um, couple of days ago um, that I am reviewing as an artist request, as a, not a request, but it is a request because it's myself. <laughs> um, a request of the artist review of the most greatest rock group of ever, the Red Hot. Chili peppers, yes. Um, the reason why I chose them because I've been a massive fan of their songs when I used to listen to um, when I was at school, I listened to Danny California, uh, Snow, Tell Me Baby, What's Your Story. Um, I been a massive fan to them. Um, I've been a fan with a couple of their songs like "By the Way," I'm trying to say I'll be there, and um, another song I could not pronounce the name of, but we will do in this video, and also "California Cation." Um, I'm a massive fan of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. If you don't know me on a daily basis, I absolutely love this band. I love their style. I love their compilation of funk and rock combined together. And if I ever get a chance to go see them live, I would love their concerts too. But they are touring, but the problem is it's super expensive because they're going on stadium tours. But I'm hoping if they will perform at Leeds Fest again, so I can get a chance to go see them. Even I live in Nottingham, I can get down to Leeds Fest. No problems asked. So, so I always check behind me, I don't know why. <laughs> so, further ado, I always do this. Um, I like doing it. It's my own style of mu music reviews. Well, not my own style, I think other people do it, but... I always do it anyway. I always talk about their discography. So without further ado, let's get on into it. So they have their own self-titled album called The Red Hot Chili Peppers in 1984. Uh, Freaky Steli as well in 1985. The Upleaf Mofro Party Plan in 1987. Mother's Milk in 1989, which is, this is the album cover. Um, and this is the another one that had a big, massive breakthrough. I'm not going to lie, but they had a big, massive breakthrough with this, um, this album precisely. And it's called Blood, Sugar, Sex and Magic in 1991. But they have released other songs like Give It Away, Give It Away, Give It Away Now. Um, early on, I don't know if that's in uh, Blood, Sugar, Sex and Magic, but we will look into it. <laughs> I listened to all of their records, the whole discography, to review this um, this incredible band. Uh, One Hot Mitt um, is another album in 1995, 
and then in 1999, California is another album they release. It's another big album, and there is a really great music video for the song California Uh By the way, is another album, 2002. Um, and I mentioned this on TikTok. Also, I got a TikTok account for the YouTube channel. Um, I mispronounced the name of this one, and I do apologize for big hardcore red hot chili peppers. I just missed the title of the album. Uh, Stadium Arcadium in 2006, and that is my first proper album of me getting into the red hot chili peppers. I haven't listened to their other stuff before this album came out, so Danny California snow and tell me baby were the main three songs that i enjoyed listening to and they are a really really great band i'm with you in 2011 that's another great album uh the getaway in 2016 and then the newest album they just released this year in april uh unlimited love They are phenomenal. Um, they have been going around for numerous years, since 1984. They have been an incredible band. The mixture of funk and rock linked together, they have their own style. Um, it influenced quite a numerous of bands here as well. Like a numerous of bands they inspired over the years. Um, while they've been together, um, I'll try and find out what their influences are because um, in Apple Music they have their own a playlist who they were showing artists that they were influenced by. Um, oh no, they didn't have anything inspired on, unfortunately. But they their music reminds me so much of Iggy Pop. Um, it just sounded that nice vibe as well with the punk rock theme that happened in the 1980s, the mid 1980s, and the vibe and the path, the funk and, and the rock just blended so well. And it feels like the first two albums were fantastic. I really enjoy those. Ignore my phone right there. Um, I really enjoyed the album, those first two albums because they have that very vibe. You're really into the party theme and, and the party scene and everything, and you just like really want to rock it out and everything else and enjoy this incredible California rock vibe um, theme of the music. I feel like I, every time I listen to the Red Hot Chili Peppers, it made me feel like I'm in the, in the California partying, partying with them. Um, they did have um, a guitarist who left uh, during, I think it's Californication album. Um, when I was researching it, um, researching the group, and, oh, no, no, no. And, um, yes, um, yeah, on. Oh, Yes, um, so it's not, no, it's, um, so, yes, um, basically one of their guitarists, John Froeskinit, I can't pronounce that, the name, is the name there, um, he left the group after one album, um, so, and he'd been replaced by another guitarist, and then he came back to do Californication. Um, I love, I love the first two albums. The third album was really good. I really loved that vibe. It was going on. Um, Blood Sugar, Blood Sugar, Sex and Magic was a really fun album to listen to. Um, and it's really fun. They have always keep that vibe going um one hot minute was really good as well 
and again um, again Californication was very good by the way was another great album however I found their songs a little bit slow it's not the Red Hot Chili Peppers that I liked like the heavy metal riffs and everything I think during that time they were trying to make that music more mainstream and all sorts and I felt that that they were on that really rocking and everything else and it was all going down and when it gets to the slow bits it was just curve right up there and a curve right up there and then when we get to Stadium Arcadium which is the longest album I did I thought we had to I have to listen to I don't know uh, take one part of that album and then another part and another part and now do three parts because the album was very very long it was 28 songs in there I thought this pair written loads she didn't um, but that album alone was the longest album I ever listened to uh, for, forever not just for this channel forever it was very long but my problem with it some of the songs are very rocky and I was really into it it went rock bottom when they hit the the most powerful songs and not the powerful songs but the slowest songs and I don't think I don't think slow is them it's really them like by the way was quite you know had some serious tones in there um undertones in there but it gets really rocky when the guitar hits and everything else but when you get to listen to arcadium um arcadium it was it was i don't know it was quite slow it's not really them and then <sighs> Then you get to another album by them um, called I'm With You. That was a really great album. I love the first track. Um, I love the first track, uh, Monarchy of the Roses. That was a really great song. And I really was into it. I was like, yes. Look Around was a really nice song. The, Aven the Adventures of the Rain Dance Maggie was a fantastic song. I really love that album. I really love I'm I'm with you album. I don't know why I didn't listen to it. Bad McHugh. <laughs> but it was a great album. It was a great album. Get Away was my least favourite. It was slow. It was a really slow album. I, I'm not into slow when it comes to rock groups. That is my problem. And I found some of the songs are like the rock vibe is gone. It's gone. Um, so I didn't personally enjoy Get Away. I do. In, I didn't personally enjoy Get Away, but I did enjoy um, Dark Necessities as well. I enjoyed that one. And we get to their newest album, Unlimited Love. My, I love Black Summer. I really got into it. I really loved it. And I put that on my playlist. And I will be listening to Black Summer. Possibility to do a music video reaction. Of of that. These Are The Ways were good. It was slow. But good. And there's an improvement on that. It was just because. If it was the Peppers. They're known for real rock hard. Funk vibe. And, and all that. But I think as, as mature as they go, they will take it nice and easy, which is fine. And I don't mind that at all. It was a really good idea. Just my problem is with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, they're known for being quite slow. Um, on their other, other albums, like, um, like By The Way. By The Way was a really, really great, great album. Uh, Californication is always going to be and will be my favourite album and my favourite song. 
overall, I still love the Peppers. I really still like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I think they're a great band. I really enjoyed it. It's just get the getaway could have had some like upbeat, really some kind of upbeat. But the songs I was listening to, there was a couple of songs in there which went really, really slow, and I just, I just, what? That's not the Peppers. Where's the Peppers I know? The really upbeat and all this and poppy vibe and everything, the heaviness. Where's that? That's the what I like to listen to. Unlimited Love delivered all that. And I would listen to Unlimited Love again because I really do like that album. I love I'm With You. I love my favourite one. It will always be Californication. Californication. And that, that song is just one of my favourites. And I don't think I would listen to Stadium and Cadium again. Because my problem is, with that album, it's too long. It's too long. But they did cut it down. Like, one album's about Jupiter. One part of the album is Jupiter. And the other part is Mars. But it was just, when you listen to it, you're like... Oh, okay, move on. But most of the songs was just so slow, and ooh, it's just not my. It's not my album. Danny California is my favorite song. Snow and Tell Me Baby. That's nothing will change from those three songs. Those are the only best three. Not only because they released them, it's because they're brilliant. My, I love. To listen to like I love to go see them live I still love the Peppers don't get me wrong I still love them I really do like their music I love funk rock really I really do love funk rock I love it um, <coughs> it's just I feel like they need to go back to the more heavier stuff right that and that their first their newest album for this year really shown that they just need to try um, not do the slowest songs. But Unlimited Love shows slower songs, but they're more meaningful. And I really like them, and that's really good. I just didn't like Get Away. I thought Get Away was not the best album. And then they shown that they can be better, and they can improve Unlimited Love. And that's my favourite, one of my favourite new albums they've done. And my absolute favourite, Californication. That is the biggest winner of that album. For, for far more. Um, but with their other songs like Mother's Love, <laughs> Mother's Milk. Um, just trying to find the album now. Because there was this one song I actually really like. Um, Under the Bridge is a lovely song to listen to. Oh no, Get Away and Give It Away is actually on the um, Blood, Sugar, Sex and Magic. I got that wrong, sorry. So my Kiss is my favourite. I love that song. I've been listening to that in the gym and I love, loved it. Mother's Milk, which is the song I really like. Higher Ground was quite good. I like Higher Ground. Um, now I'm just trying to find the song. Johnny, kick, the, kick a hole in the sky. It was powerful. It was very heavy. And I love that vibe and everything else. I just love it so, so much. And I really enjoyed it so much. That's my favourite song by the Peppers far more. Alongside with Danny California. By the way, Californication, Tell Me Baby, and but my favourite album is Californication by, by the Peppers Farmore. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry this is long, but this is where we get to listening to the art artists. There will be long. If it's an artist, I have to review all of their albums in order to review the whole group so if it's an artist review it will be longer 
if it's going to be an album or an EP or a music video, it will be um, a short vid. It will be shorter, so don't worry about it. But thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Two of my Instagram posts: Tom Q the actor, McHugh Fitness, nineteen ninety three, and also my Twitter as well. Follow my Twitter account and follow my TikTok. I will be doing a loads of videos on there. Thank you for watching, and I see you in the next video, which I'm going to be shooting right now. See you soon. Bye.